I have something a little different today on Flats Class YouTube fans. Uh, instead of teaching you another lesson on how to catch tarpon or snook or speckled trout or give you some cool tackle rig, I'm going to take you to Mullins 4x4 Automotive there in Ocala, Florida. They put a beautiful truck bed cover uh, from Diamondback on my my skiff mule there they're known for putting nerf bars on on trucks and and level kits and lifting trucks and you name it exhaust systems whatever you want toolboxes but they also do truck covers and uh, one of the truck covers that i've been wanting for a long long time for both security and function along with making my truck look very badass is the diamondback truck bed cover i'll tell you what you go watch the installation uh, that Troy and Toby did for me. I'll show you what's inside or under the lid of, uh, of my new truck cover and show you how I intend to uh, maximize its use. <laughs> Class YouTube is brought to you by Aquatraction, your go-to solution for advanced marine flooring. It, it always something new. Inside uh, Holland's Automotive and Accessories, and you can hear Troy is up inside my bed here, putting my Diamondback cover on. So it's going to change not only the look of my truck, my power pole truck, but it is going to also be something that's functional, pragmatic. I can lock all the tackle up in this thing now. Uh, and have a secure bed, especially when I'm on the road, which in the summer, I'm on the road a lot. And this is all lockable and... All lockable with just our, it'll be a twist handle with yep. the uh, regular key lock. Troy is putting all the arms on it linkage mechanism so that I can lock these. And I can put up to 600 pounds on the top of this so if I need to haul lumber for the ranch house or uh, put a bunch of Yeti coolers up on top I'll, have, I'll still have that ability. Still got lockable uh, tool storage underneath in my below bed wall toolbox. So, I've got you, tighten away. Now they're doing the final linkage like they did here for the forward panel. 
<clears throat> once we get that, then we just got tie downs and it's complete. Full installation takes under an hour, as long as you know what you're doing. Last few adjustments to the front linkage. Troy's got me about set here. And I'll be able to lift this right up. And still have that as a, another seal. The guys there are awesome at Mullins 4x4. Troy and Toby did me right. So next, what I wanna do is show you what my intent is uh, for having the Diamondback more over than a rolling lock or a solid fiberglass lid. Um, there's a reason, so let's look at that next. Let's open up the tailgate here. Uh, got my key fob on, so it'll come down. Typically, what I like to store in the bed of the truck uh, is, is fishing gear, you know, tackle boxes, extra tufts or muck boots. Uh, I've got an anchor basket here with some bungee cord and whatnot. I've got my sissy bar. I keep a lot of tow equipment. And when I open this latch right here for you, let me turn it because I didn't lock it. I've got a ton of room. Um, back here that I haven't filled up yet. Uh, I will, trust me, I'm getting ready to go on a trip. I'll probably be throwing a lot of uh, provisions in there. And then as I move forward, I love the way everything's got a lip here. So even if you think rain might get in these seams here, all it's gonna do is fall into this track and leak right out here and not get into the bed of my truck. This They promised me this big gasket here is so good for keeping water out. I'm not gonna have to deal with it at all. Uh, in my forward, and they make a safety feature here so it lifts up. There's a little deal right here that you got to, and I'll try to do it with one hand here because um, <laughs> I wanna hold it and do it. I'll release it. It's just a release. I just need both my hands to release it. That's why they do that. So it won't blow up when you're underway. Stand by. So they have this little notch in here. That way, when this thing, when I lift it up, I can have full access to the front half of my, my bed. But if it were to bounce up, if I didn't shut it correctly with this linkage here, all it could go is that far, you know, in that low position it wouldn't blow back and tear the whole thing up what's nice is i was able to keep my embed uh, toolbox in here so i can still keep my tools in another compartment so they don't blow around i've got hoses and stuff for when i'm on the road extra straps and ratchets and things like that and tools you know just stuff i need um, when i'm on the road and i can keep all that in here so it doesn't have to slide around the bed and i keep the bigger stuff in here because i i keep an extra trolling motor with me when i'm on the road or i might have to put the trolling motor off the professional in here at times um if i'm in a place and even my casting platform that's made from carbon marine because you know you just you don't have that a lot of you guys might say well it would be pretty dark in here early in the morning or in the evening um, but my GMC has these cargo lights uh, that light everything up and I've actually got a cargo light right up in here uh, on my bed that shines down here and gives me a lot of a light down here. I mean, from my cab down here. So I'm, I'm good with light, so I don't have to worry about that. They offered a remote light for this setup, um, but I told them I didn't need it. And uh, let me close it up next and show you, I'll give you a wide shot here. This is a gull wing design. But uh, I'll tell you a little bit about, you might say, well, you know, this might keep you from carrying certain things, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna clue you in on something. Hold on. One other thing. I've got these, these locks, the things that, the handles that turn, they actually lock and, uh, and they're very weather resistant. There's two of them, one for the forward, one for the rear. Once I shut my tailgate on the Diamondback, let's just say I wanted to carry 
uh, a piece of furniture or I'm gonna carry some building materials, whether that be you know, a few sacks of uh, concrete, I'd put a blanket down here, something like that. I have up to, on this particular model, now they make an HD model, 600 pounds I can put up here. So I can put lumber up here, whatever I want. And I've got these sturdy tie downs here that are, that are bolted in basically. And uh, they're going to allow me to strap it. If I wanted to, to put, for instance, Yeti coolers, whatever I need up here, I've got 600 pounds. And this stuff is, is basically got like a road coat on it, powder coated on here. So it's guaranteed um, for a long, long time. So this is going to serve me well. And you know what? I got to admit, it makes my truck look even better. So it's a really good look with this matte wrap uh, from Power Pole. So super stoked about it. Super happy about it, honestly. I think it's going to be a, a nice piece of equipment that's going to make it more enjoyable for me and much more secure. So if you like some of these features that we've been putting on Flats Class YouTube, aside from fishing tips, aside from tackle reviews, uh, television shows and podcasts, these are the kinds of things, these truck mods, and I'll probably have an, another one coming soon on a truck mod. But this is just some of the added stuff that we love doing at Flats Class YouTube, and we want to get you to like it as well. If you learned something and you enjoyed it, give us the big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. It's my job to make you, well, a better truck enthusiast, outdoorsman, and angler. Until next time, Captain CA signing off.